Hey guys, how's it going? Mark from Double Clutch Auto Reviews here. Thank you again for tuning in for another how-to video. Today I'm going to show you how to change the oil on your Yamaha FC6. This is very simple and easy preventative maintenance that every motorcyclist should know how to do on their own motorcycle. And it's essential to keeping your engine healthy and running well. If the bike is rideable, of course, we're going to start off by taking it out for a quick ride around the block. Only takes about 5 to 10 minutes or a few miles to get the engine up to operating temperature. Doing this helps loosen up some of the old oil and crud in the engine and allows for a better oil change. Now pulling back into the driveway, we're going to put the bike up on its center stand. Be very careful doing this, especially if you haven't done it before, as the bike is heavy and it can be unwieldy when you're trying to get it up on the center stand. To do this, step firmly with your non-bare right foot on this little stomp pad right here. Next, to lift the bike up, you're going to feel the weight of the bike want to shift up and backwards. Hold the bike firmly and keep pushing down until you feel the center stand fully lock. Not all bikes have a center stand, but thankfully the FC6 does, and it allows for easier access to certain components during maintenance. Next, you're just going to wait for the bike to cool down for about 10 to 15 minutes, because you don't want to burn yourself with hot oil and then we're going to get started. And once you get used to using the center stand, you can put some cardboard underneath it too, as I'll show you now, just to prevent any oil spilling on the driveway. And now that all that's been said and the bike's cooled down for about 10 minutes, we're going to actually start the oil changing process. And as I said before, this is a very simple task. All you need is a few tools. And we're going to need a socket wrench with a 19 millimeter socket, a oil drain pan, a rag, and the oil and filter. That's literally it, folks. And make sure to please use the proper oil and filter when changing your oil on your bike. I've had good luck with this mobile one. As you can see, it's advanced full synthetic and it has three-way protection, the engine transmission and wet clutch primary. I've been very happy with it and it's done my bike well over several years. And for the oil filter as well, of course, make sure it matches to your bike. This PH6017A is the one for the 2005 Yamaha FZ6. You can look this up in the little book next to the shelf right by the oil filters. So now coming onto the left side of the bike is if we were sitting on the bike facing forward, we are going to find the oil filter and the oil drain bolt. You can see the oil filter is right here and the oil drain bolt is right there. We are going to take our 19 millimeter socket, get that on there and just gently crack the bolt. Next, we are going to slide our oil drain pan right underneath there as best we can. And now once we have it loose enough to loosen it by hand, we are going to put our socket wrench down. Now a trick with this to reducing the most amount of oil spilling as possible. I'm going to loosen the drain bolt, but actually keep a slight amount of pressure holding that oil back. And as you can see, it just cracked a little bit. Now I'm going to hold it there, raise the drain pan up a little bit, and then quickly pull out the drain plug. And as you can see, I don't think I spilled a single drop. And then once that gets going, now we're gonna lower it down and let all that oil drain out. Wait for absolutely all of the oil to drain out until it's just barely dripping. Also be sure to check the washer on your drain bolt. You wanna make sure that it looks good and it's not bent or cracked or leaking at all. And this one still looks like it's in good shape, so this will work perfectly fine until the next time. And if you don't see the washer on the drain bolt, check right here and make sure that the washer's not stuck because you absolutely do not want to put two washers on the drain bolt. And as you can see now, the oil's down to a slow drip, so we'll take our drain bolt, make sure not to cross thread, and slide that right back on. Make sure it's hand tight, and don't forget then take your socket wrench, tighten it down the rest of the way. There you go. For the exact torque specs, you can put it down to 31 pound-feet, However, you can do this at your own discretion, but as far as I'm concerned, I just get it down till it's really tight and then just do another quarter turn and snug it down. And now for the oil filter, we're going to want to use the rag if we can, just because this thing is covered in grease. Loosen it by hand, gently holding it there just to make sure it doesn't plop down into the oil drain pan. Wait until it's all the way off, gently pull it back and let it drain out. Some will get on the exhaust, but that's okay. You can just wipe it off later. Put that aside. Now we are going to take our new oil filter Remove it from the package. Make sure that it's the right one, PH6017A. And now here's a little trick that I learned to help get a better seal with the O-ring on the oil filter. Take a clean finger, stick it in the new oil, get a little bit of oil on the end of your finger. Now just gently rub it around the whole outside of that O-ring. Get it nice and lubricated. Putting a thin, even coat of new oil around this O-ring gasket will not only help it seal nice and tightly to the engine when you put the new oil filter on, but it'll also prolong the life of this gasket. And another little trick I like to do is I like to take the new oil filter and I fill it up with a little bit of brand new engine oil. I like to do this because when you start the engine for the first time after this oil change, the engine's going to suck in right from this oil filter and it's going to be starved of oil for just that one split second. If you fill up the oil filter with oil first as best you can, it prevents the engine from sucking in just air and no oil. It's kind of tricky for this specific engine though because you're gonna have to put this on sideways. So just keep in mind, when you go to tilt the oil filter, make sure that it doesn't spill out new oil. However, when you do this, you can just fill up a little bit and then test it. Make sure that it's just about to come out when you get it halfway. So I know it's not filled up all the way, 
but it's definitely better than nothing. It's just starting to come out. You can go a little more. Look at that. Perfect. And now we will take our new oil filter and gently line it up, making sure to do our best not to cross through it. Absolutely do not cross through it. That will be a very bad day for you. Just work it until you feel it catch. It should spin on freely like this. If it doesn't do that, you need to check your threading. Spin it on all the way. But if you want the exact torque spec and you're going to do it with an oil filter socket and a torque wrench, it's 12 pound feet. And now we just wipe off all this stuff, get all this gunk out of here. Don't forget about the exhaust. All right, that looks great. Now moving on to the other side. And now coming over to the right side of the motorcycle, we're going to locate the oil fill cap, which is right here. Unscrew it, set it down to the side, grab your clean funnel, put it in. I'm sorry, I did forget that earlier. However, you don't actually need this, but it definitely will make your life easier. Then we grab our brand new oil and pour it on in. The 2005 FC6 takes exactly 2.96 quarts or 2.8 liters. Quart number two and quart number three. Just keep in mind though, when you start the engine for the first time, the oil is going to cycle through the oil filter and the oil level on the dipstick is going to decrease just a little bit. We're gonna keep the bike on the center stand, start the engine, let it run for 10 to 15 seconds, shut it off and then check the oil again to make sure it's perfect. And while it's running, we're gonna make sure that there's no leaks or anything like that. And that looks good. None from this side either. That looks great. Shut her down. Now we're going to come over to the oil dipstick, which is right here. So to check your oil with the dipstick, unscrew the dipstick all the way, gently pull it out, wipe the dipstick clean, insert it back in gently, pressing it down all the way, but not screwing it back in, hold it, pull it out gently. Now I'm really sorry, it's still hard to tell on camera, even with the focus on. However, I can see that the oil is right around the halfway point, maybe about three quarters of the way full in the dipstick. So I'm gonna put in just a little bit more oil to try to get it right at the top, but not go over. Unscrew the cap again, wipe down your filter, make sure there's nothing on it. We're gonna add just a little bit of oil at a time. You can always easily add more oil later to get it right at the top. And you can see it's hard to tell on camera with this fresh and clean new oil, but the oil level's all the way up to the top hash mark right here. So that's perfect. And of course, don't forget about the oil cap. Screw that back on until it's snug. And we're good. You also want to make a note of your engine mileage. As you can see, I let it get to 3684.8. That was definitely longer than I wanted it to go, but I'm just going to reset that trip. So now I know when to change it next time. And to take the bike off of the center stand, simply remove all the items below it to make sure you don't run anything over by accident. And all you have to do is give it a heave ho forward and it'll come right on down. And I cannot forget to kindly ask you guys to please dispose of your oil and oil filter properly. Any recycling center or auto parts store that sells motor oil should take them. And that's all there is to it folks. That is how you change your oil on your 2005 Yamaha FZ6. I hope you all found this video helpful, informative, and insightful. If you liked the video, please hit that thumbs up. I really appreciate it and consider subscribing. I'll catch you on the next one guys. Take care and have a great day. Peace.